Have you ever wondered why most lawyers wear black? Mm -hmm. Same with judges. Ever thought why they always have black robes? That's because when someone wears black, it triggers something in our brain, making them appear more powerful. Maybe Coco Chanel knew that too, when she came up with the famous little black dress, which she claimed was meant for powerful women. But is black really a color? Technically not. Some people do say it is, since you need to combine various other different pigments to get it on paper. But in reality, black and white are shades, not colors. Regardless of whether it's a shade or a color, a British company claims it came up with the world's blackest black, or darkest material. Its pigment is so powerful that our eyes can't determine its shape and form. They named it Vanta Black and designed it out of carbon nanotubes. The purpose of these tiny tubes is to absorb a staggering 99.96% of all light that hits their surface. Your standard black surface, like that of your hoodie or from a nearby painting, can absorb anywhere between 95 and 98% of its surrounding light rays. It's easy to see why people describe this material as a whole. As intriguing as it is to look at, I don't think you'd look good in a garment made out of Vanta Black. That's because the shape of the human body would become invisible altogether, and you'd end up looking two-dimensional. The whitest white, however, is not human-made. We can find it in nature, and it has a lot to do with a pretty cool insect, the Cephochylus beetle. Even though it's considered a pest in Southeast Asia, its white scales can be brighter than any other white surface seen in nature. After studying the critter, scientists came up with a new type of super white coating. The substance found in it is called chitin, a chemical compound closely related to glucose that highly reflects light. A lot of the white products we can find in stores today, like sunscreen and paint, have particles in them that reflect a lot of light. But most of them have these particles in the form of titanium dioxide, or zinc oxide. Just to give you an idea of how powerful this white pigment is, imagine you have to paint one wall of your room white. If you want to have a crisp looking wall, you might have to apply a couple of layers onto it to reach the desired hue. If you paint it with the super white coating, you only need a coat with a 10 micron thickness. That's even thinner than a strand of hair. This chemical compound isn't ready for commercial use quite yet, but once scientists have finished testing it, we might begin to see it in cosmetics or even food. The way companies choose their colors for their branding isn't just creative. It has a lot to do also with the way we perceive various colors. That's because different colors can trigger different emotions. Some companies use red for their logo because it creates a feeling of urgency. You'll see it in a lot of fast food chains. On the other hand, the color blue seems to make people chill out. It makes us feel tranquil and safe. That's why blue is a color often used in the medical industry or by car manufacturers. Same goes for the color green. You generally connect it to growth and nature, while orange makes you feel confident and enthusiastic. That's why you'll see it used by online stores. You'll see black being used by brands that want to be perceived as elegant and luxurious. Most high-end perfume or clothing brands use black logos and fonts. The list goes on, with purple being associated with royalty and wealth, and white with perfection and cleanliness. There is even a huge connection between the colors we perceive and our memory. And here's how you can test it. Say you're studying for an exam. Try making two sets of flashcards containing the same information. Write one in black and white and another one using different colors. Sooner or later, you'll figure out that the colored set is more efficient. Why? Because we have better chances of remembering facts presented in colors. Our brains are wired to make all sorts of various connections. If it can relate a certain color to a piece of information, it's more likely it will get stored. You can make the same experiment by watching the same video. The first time in black and white, Try to scribble down how many details you can remember after watching it. If you look over it a second instance, this time in color, you'll be more likely to remember the details. Next time you board a plane, 
Try playing this little game with your friends or family. Ask everyone to be on the lookout for yellow objects on board. Other people's clothes or belongings don't count, just the airplane stuff. I'll let you in on a little secret. You won't see any. That's because most airplane companies don't use any yellow in any of their branding or decor. If you stare at the color yellow for long enough, you'll understand why. You'll soon notice it makes you dizzy. No wonder airlines, or other types of transportation companies too, shy away from yellow. It decreases the chances of people getting sick on board. Everyone has a favorite color. Try to think of yours. Chances are, it's blue. <laughs> Did I get it right? Don't worry, I'm not a magician. It's just statistics. Across all countries and cultures, blue is known as the most common favorite color. It probably has a lot to do with the fact that it triggers feelings of relaxation and makes us feel calm. The second most liked color is purple, while the third one is black, even though we've established that it's technically just a shade. We know Mars to be the red planet, but where did it get its hue? Mars is coated in a substance called iron oxide. We have this substance in our bodies too. It's the chemical compound that gives our blood its signature shade. You know when you've been sitting in a bright room for a while and you suddenly turn out the lights? The gray shade you see for a split second has a name, eigengrau. Some also call it brain gray. It translates to intrinsic gray, or one's shade of gray. Colors might even affect the way we taste our food. Some studies have shown that if you eat the same dish in differently colored bowls or plates, it may taste different. There was an experiment with hot chocolate. The participants were given the beverage from four different mugs. One was white, while the others were cream, red, and orange. They weren't told they were drinking the same substance from each cup. Mm -hmm. They were just asked to say which one was tastier. Almost all participants claimed the hot chocolate from the orange and cream-colored mugs was best. When we're born, we can only perceive the world in black and white, with just a few shades of gray. We reach our full spectrum of colors at about five months of age. But have you ever wondered what is the first color we see? It's red. That's why a lot of toys or activity boards for newborns feature various shades of red. Dogs have even more problems distinguishing between colors, as opposed to the human eye, which can see combinations between red, blue, and yellow. A dog's eye is limited to blue and yellow shades. If you want your dog to better interact with you, stick to blue or yellow toys. The color of your car might also influence how safe you are on the streets. Studies looking at connections between accidents and car colors indicated that a white car is the safest or the least likely to be in an accident based on the statistics. The least safe color is black. And it's easier to see why. A black car is harder to see in difficult weather conditions. Also, most roads are black too, which makes it easier for darker colored cars to blend in and less likely to be seen in due course. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.